Whoa! Is this us? Good time. Wow. Oh, oh. Yeah, low battery. Low battery maybe. warning. We might not be a brief edition of After the Drill. Yeah. Hello, Googans. Hello. Beef. Dan. Dan's in the hood. He looks like uh, some kind of Sith Lord. That's who I Episode am. Episode three when the Sith hits the fan. Yes. Welcome in. It's gray sweatshirt day on After the Drill. It Drew. is. That's why one got this. You told me it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a memo. Mm -hmm. uh, Drew Drew is, uh, is not with us today. Yeah. He's with us in spirit. He's off looking for an expensive gift for you after being he ashamed. Yeah, he didn't want to answer to uh, what 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 happened with the uh, with the Christmas gift, so we let him uh, let him go. So I figured I'd just fill in here and we'll knock this thing out. How are you? I heard, I'm good. I'm How good. was the show today? Uh, the show was good today. I thought it was good. Good energy with uh, you and Lauren Brooks. What about the money making idea? Uh, I like it. If you didn't hear it, Googans, Dan uh, has stumbled across his money making venture, uh, getting into the scooter business. Uh, these. Uh, bird scooters that are all over these major metropolises, and uh, you sort of use an app to activate them, you ride them around, you drop them wherever you're at. Wherever you at? The next person picks them up and rides them again. Googans, and I know right now you're sitting you're at home, probably waking and baking, thinking about what you're going to do with your life. What an idea for 2019. That's kind of our uh, our demo. We need, we need some investors. Our, de our demo is the Wake and Bakers. Yeah, so That's shout why Tony out. Agalini is always here for the After the Drill show. What up, Tony? He gets up for his morning bong and then tunes in oh, for After the Drill. Whoa, yeah. that's probably... Uh, Don't think Tony's bonging, but... Probably slander yeah. uh, or libel. I can't remember which one's print, which yes. one's spoken. It's all right. As a true journalist. Uh, yeah, the Google can call me and say he, he went to Nashville. He said there's like 485 scooters in Nashville. So that's the number we're so shooting So we need 500 scooters, 500 scooters. How much did you say they cost? About 400 a piece. So 500 times 400 is 20... What's that? 1,000? 200, 200 grand? Or 200 grand? 200 grand. We need 200 grand. Investors. Plus the 200 grand for the franchise. So we probably need half a mil. Okay. So we need some money for marketing. Balls is in. Balls is in. Yeah. Is he covering the full half a mil? I don't think he is. All right. Uh, Agalini says uh, he's suing. That's fine. <laughs> Bring it out. We have no money, so good luck. Sue away, bro. You can you can sue us and take ownership of the tripod we use for after drill. I'm going to Atlanta tomorrow. Danny's Agilene. in the road for Atlanta. He'll be off. Uh, special edition of the drill tomorrow. Uh, no, not Friday. tomorrow. Or I'm sorry, Friday. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing the drill tomorrow. He'll be here now. Friday, special edition of the drill. Yeah. Uh, pray for beef as the uh, helmets and heels crew will be in. It'll be sort of it's it's sort of like baptism by fire for me as I found out having a little girl. Oh yeah! So Congratulations! Sort of like, so yeah, so they're throwing me into the fire, into the cauldron, uh, with three ladies. Should I be morning. worried about this thing, this parenting thing, with you and a little girl? I would be if I was you. Yeah. I don't know who you'd be more worried. I think for, you can hang. I me. think you can hang with the petite, no yeah. problem. Yeah. You guys can be pals. I believe I'll do that time honored dad thing that I think you're familiar with too. Mm -hmm. uh, as much as humanly possible, punt to mom. Always punt to mom. Yeah. When I get a question that I frankly am terrified of, I go, Yeah, I don't ask your mother. What was uh, Mrs. B's reaction to Thrill. the girl? Thrill. Thrill. Elated. Good. Uh, everyone was excited. Good. Uh, the petite was excited. Yeah. Uh, the mother-in-law was excited. Okay. And uh, the father-in-law uh, was confused because the confusion He blew was, it. The conf well, first he blew the timing joke. on the pop thing, which is okay. Long uh, story short, Beef had a reveal, a gender, gender reveal. Gender reveal. This is what the kids do, even though Beef's no longer a kid. But they had smartly little confetti rockets. Confetti cannons. All you got to do is... Double twist, twist away, right? And bang, pop. like bang. Yeah, it pops, and beef goes. We're gonna do it in three, two, one, and on th <laughs> uh, three, my father, uh, three, the old man, him. just blows pops it, up. it off. Then everybody, yeah, everybody else is stolen. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, Then it was vacillation, jubilation. Yes. But then uh, uh, my father-in-law, who I love dearly, uh, said he was confused too because the confetti looked purple, and he wasn't sure what purple meant. And I said, it, it's not blue. That's what it means. It's, Pink. it's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. Uh, but yeah, so that's the uh, cat's so out of the bag. So how did you guys, so uh, uh, you kept that a secret until, when did you all find out? Uh, that was it. That was the big reveal. Well, when did you find out? Then. Oh, you didn't know. That was the reveal. You didn't know. We didn't well, know. who knew? Nobody. Well, I mean, the doctor knew, and one of Tracy, my wife Tracy, her friend from work, they gave her an envelope, sealed envelope. Oh, so Tracy didn't know. Nobody either. knew. So oh, Mrs. Beef took it, cool. gave it to her friend. She went and bought the puppers. Ah. And, then, uh, and then... So we, nobody uh, knew. No one knew. Oh, I thought you and her knew. But no, everybody... no one knew. Oh. It was, uh, yeah. Did so, you want to peek? I know how you are. I, I, I never handled the envelope. <laughs> but I wanted to peek. I would have tried. I would have had a flashlight out holding it up. Trying yeah. To see through it. That's why uh, you didn't try to do that with the cannons or anything? Now, ironically, <laughs> I was at the ultrasound that revealed the gender, but they did that sort of, it was like, ah, don't look, and I'll do the thing. Yeah. And then, so they're doing the ultrasound. And I, I swore up, down, and sideways because I'm an expert at these things. Obviously, mm -hmm. that's why I'm a trained uh, professional. Yeah. I swore uh, I saw peaches. 
Yeah. I swore I saw peaches, so I was like, ah, it's a boy. Yeah. It's a boy. Yeah. And I didn't say anything to my wife, and she's yeah. like, she said she had a dream that it was a boy, so we were, both of us went into it thinking it was a boy. Oh. So when the pink confetti blew off, mass elation. Oh, that's happened. great. That's I've good. got the complete set, and I'll be ringing up the ball deck sometime early 2020, uh, going for that March Madness special. March Madness special. I might even talk to the sales guys here, see if we can, like, trade it out. Not bad. I'll beef here. Beef it's here for not, best um, uh, it's a little unnerving, uh, having been there. Um, it's tough, but a little tugging down there and yeah. such. But, you know, you get through it. You get through it. You get through it. If somebody wants to do it for free, man. Not like a chop shop, though. No. I need, like, a legit you need a place. Professional. <laughs> you won't be like, you know, I'm not, like, like, back alley, like, Yeah, you don't want to go out there and, like, no. lose a liver. Right. You know? I don't need to, What like, happened to my liver? Alley. I need my liver. Uh, uh, beef's bleeding out in this alley. No one's here to be found. The doc ran. So this vasectomy's gone bad. Ran with two grand in his pocket. <laughs> we got cash in hand. Uh, He's going out in the alley. No. Uh, wow, this went off the rails. It is awesome. Yeah, so we're having a little girl. We're excited. Good. Uh, everyone's excited. I know you had a, a big time with the fam. Yeah, we had a good Christmas. Christmas. Everybody had a good Christmas. Everybody was around. I kind of got screwed on the gifts, which I was expecting. You got a lovely uh, hat, though. I got a hat and a nice book. And a nice book about the Mets. So, um, yeah. So I don't, I don't want to add it all up. Um, Probably 50 bucks. But we'll uh, we'll move on and keep rolling with what we got. I like, man. At least the kids were there. Kids were there. They love you dearly. They do. That's really all that matters. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, so the NBA Christmas time uh, started yesterday. <laughs> yes, the unofficial start of the NBA season. Uh, LeBron's the King, hurt. King with a big win in Oakland, but at what cost? As he yeah. goes out with the groin. Apparently not too much. Though. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look seem too like bad. it's going to be serious. Uh, the Jags go to Houston on Sunday. You guys from Houston? End his misery yeah. one last time. End of the road for the Jags. Uh, end of the road for Blake probably. Yeah. Some are still wondering if it's the end of the road for Doug Marone. I think that's sort of. Looks better for him. It looks better for him. I don't think that's as much of a question. I think he deserves another year. I think so. The big question is, you know, who will be gone when Black Monday rolls around. I think most people would put uh, heavy odds on Dave Caldwell to uh, yeah. to be relieved of his duties. Not, not The buzz I heard, though, uh, down in Miami was, uh, you know, not 100% certain. No, nah, slam No, he may, he may get through he it, He might too. survive. Yeah. Yeah, they may write this whole thing up as a, a fluky season, a lot yeah. of injuries. and. There's yeah. some, yeah, look. Injuries play a part of it every year, but it would be foolish to think that injuries are the main reason why your team struggle. Right, in my opinion, because everyone but, has them. Yes, and you got to you got to get through it. So, yeah. got to make some wholesale changes on the offense. Defense is still going to be pretty good. Defense is again is a top five defense this year, fifth overall, and fifth in scoring. So it's been pretty good. So barring a win Sunday, it seems like Jags right now are sitting ninth. They'll probably be pick, picking in that five to nine. Yeah, I think, range. I think like seven or eight probably. Yeah, they'll maybe slide up a couple spots. Yeah, um, yeah, and that should be within range to get a quarterback if they target somebody. They may have to make a little move, a little shimmy. Up I think either go get like an established guy, which is very risky in its own right, but so too is drafting quarterbacks. D Rock wrote a great article on ESPN.com. You want to look at um, some sobering news, and maybe we'll pull it out tomorrow, but. The statistically, even when you choose a quarterback in the first round, the odds of that person becoming a franchise quarterback, not very good. It's low. Not very good. It's but, hard to hit on a QB. But so too is trading for one. Not very good. Yeah. You know, so Which is why when you get one, man, those teams hang on to it for dear yeah. life until the wheels fall off. This is why Denver did everything they could to get Peyton Manning, for right. example. And it worked. You it know? worked. For so. a limited window, but they got in, they got a bowl. And they haven't had one, one since. And they haven't even sniffed one since. Paxton Lynch, Case right. Keenum. Yeah. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Yeah, and they're still searching. Yep. And uh, as as are we, and hoping, praying, wishing that we'll find one. Just one. We just want one. Please, football one gods. Like, one like fifteen one year run with a guy. We're like, yeah, we're good. We'll be happy. We win a couple Super Bowls. We win a couple Super Bowls. Happy. Saves the franchise. It's all great. <laughs> it's it's so it. easy. We and then we all it. ride scooters to the victory parade. And we get them right downtown. Hey! And then we're rich. We just went full circle. I think it's a good time to end after the drill. That sounds good. We love you, Googas. We'll be back tomorrow. Peace out. Bye.